Good morning, everyone. It's Friday. Yeah, we made it to Friday. Let me show you guys what I am taking to work right now for drinks and two meals. Okay, first up is my drinks. Here I have my regular coffee for zero smart points with one tablespoon of fat-free half and half for zero smart points. Over here is my teeny skinny tea for zero smart points. Inside the tea I have the juice of a quarter of a lemon, all zero smart points. My first meal is going to be this Weight Watchers breakfast sandwich. This is from the Weight Watchers Fresh Order. It's a Canadian bacon and egg breakfast sandwich for five smart points. I had frozen it. Um, last night I took it out of the freezer. It is thawed and ready to go, so I'll just heat it in the microwave, probably 30 seconds, and should be ready to go. So this is Weight Watchers Fresh breakfast sandwich, five smart points. And then my second meal of the day is going to be this peanut butter banana wrap for two smart points. It's an Olay Extreme Wellness Wrap, the high fiber, low carb for one smart point. And then I have two tablespoons of the PB Fit peanut butter powder for one smart point. That's in the jar here. When I get ready to put it together, I will mix the PB Fit with water, spread it on the wrap, and then add my banana. I don't even slice the banana. I just throw it right in there and roll it up and eat it. So peanut butter banana wrap for two smart points. So all of my points total today until dinner are going to be seven smart points. Okay, I just got here at 9.26 and here is what my office looks like. Guys, it's dark. No doors are open. It's completely dark. <laughs> We were supposed to be here at 9 o'clock. It's 9.26. <laughs> this is so funny. Okay, at least I can take comfort in the fact that it's not just me. <sighs> oh my gosh, I'm cracking up. Here we go. Hello guys, it is a Friday. This is my first walk break. There's really no need to show you my outfit of the day because it's literally jeans and a t-shirt. <laughs> Yay, love Friday clothes, love Friday clothes. It's 84 degrees out here and it feels amazing. Like I was thinking literally when we go to the beach this weekend, I'll probably freeze. <laughs> It'll be like normal temperatures and I will freeze because it's the beach. I'm thinking low 80s, upper 70s. It should feel awesome, but I know I'm gonna get cold. Um, anyway, I wanted to tell you guys that my faith in humanity is completely restored. Thank you, Groupon. We had major issues with the Groupon that I tried to use on Sunday in Vegas for the massage. Number one, they wouldn't take it because it wasn't activated. Even though it showed up in my purchases, it was not activated in my Groupon. So bottom line, they wouldn't take it. And we ended up paying cash. The same day I contacted Groupon, the only way you can contact them is by chat or email. So I tried to chat with someone that same day, I was trying to get it resolved and she kept I mean, she wouldn't respond to me. She would not respond and she was taking forever. So I'm like, I'm just gonna pay cash. I need a refund. And of course she didn't respond. So we get back to California and I started, I chatted three times with Groupon and they kept disconnecting the chat because they thought I wasn't there. They kept taking forever and they disconnected because I wasn't there, whatever. Finally, so after all of these chats, they send you an email with the transcript of the chat. So finally, I respond to the email and say, listen, I just need a refund because they wouldn't take it because you guys didn't activate it for whatever reason. You screwed up. Sorry. So um, I get an email back today from Reginald who says, sorry, it's non-refundable. You would have had to request a refund within three days of purchase but you can give it to someone else to use if you don't want to use it. Cause sure, I'm gonna give this Groupon to somebody else to use so they can go and not have it accepted too. Does that make any sense? No. 
So I was livid. I And of course, okay, here's the other problem with Groupon is that you cannot find a phone number anywhere to talk to a live person, nowhere. So number one, I purchased the group on Friday. I tried to use it Sunday. That's two days. And I requested on Sunday in the chat a refund. Thankfully, my sister found a number or she found something that said, um, leave a request to have them call you back. So I left my phone number and they called within five minutes. I was so surprised so surprised i explained the situation she's like let me check out the transcript she was gone for forever she comes back and voila refund thank you so much groupon i was so annoyed so annoyed but now i'm fine <laughs> so there's that that makes me uh happy friday that makes for a happy friday so i got my refund anyway here's something else weird um is that the Groupon was for $65 for a two, two people for a one-hour massage. When I asked what the prices were at the spa, they said it's $30 for a one-hour massage. So it was cheaper to just go and buy it straight out anyway. I don't get that. But anyway, and you know what I have to say? The massage was still awesome. Um... Guys, so I'm having this dumb problem with my stupid worst habit ever, which is eating at night. Stupid, random stuff. Stupid, stupid. And it always tends to happen after I finish and post the video. What is up with that? I'm not hiding anything. I'm not trying to night eat and hide stuff, but it's just this stupid, annoying habit that I have to break because I think, oh, it's just a little bit here and a little bit there. And you know what? Now, even with my fit points, I am negative on weeklies. And we're only on Friday. My week starts on Tuesday. So it's getting ridiculous. I need to break this stupid night eating. And you would think, okay, with the intermittent fasting, you're supposed to stop eating at a certain time. Stop. My certain time is 11 o'clock. Last night at 11 o'clock, I was finishing, <coughs> I was finishing a glass of sangria and I was gonna be done. And then I went in the kitchen. And why did I do that? I always do that. And I found stuff, just stuff, random stuff. It wasn't even that much, but I am now negative on my weeklies. So I need to find a way to break the night snacking habit yet again. I think that's my worst food habit and I need to figure out how to stop it because it's adding up. Gosh, there's a lady over there with super pretty long hair. <laughs> I got distracted for a minute. I um, guess that's all I got going on right now. I'm kind of excited to try that Weight Watchers fresh breakfast sandwich. Hopefully it should be fine after being frozen for a couple weeks. Um, I'll let you guys know how it is. And other than that, I got nothing going on. Just getting stuff done, knocking stuff out. I'm so excited to do a couple reviews for you guys. Hopefully this weekend, number one, my Project 7 review. I still have a few flavors to taste, so there is some gum chewing that will be happening in my house tonight. Um, so there's the Project 7 review, and I also want to do a review on my favorite planner stickers from Planner Penny. So hopefully this weekend, I say that now, but I know I've got a rather busy day tomorrow. Um, not super busy, but Saturdays always get a little out of hand. We are going to dinner with a friend at 5.30, so I got to cut everything off by then. Anyway. Um, I guess I'm gonna head back to work and I will touch base with you guys on my next walk break. I think I'm going walking with my friend at lunch, but I'm not sure. I passed up going out for lunch, which sounded really fun. I passed it up. Number one, they're going to a bar. There will be drinks involved. Number two, it is before my food eating period time. And number three, I didn't track anything remotely close to what they have available at that bar. So it was a wise decision. Good job, Julie. Um, 
next week, two people want to take me out for my birthday. So that will be a little disruptive to my schedule and I'll have to adjust on two days and be flexible <laughs> because I have no idea where we're going for either one. So I don't like that kind of, I don't like that. <laughs> but I don't know if I'll be able to find out ahead of time without looking like a goon. So I'll try to find out. It'll be Thursday and Friday. So I know with one of my friends, I'll be able to uh, find out where we're going ahead of time. The other one is my boss and I just don't wanna look like a total retard. Like, okay, can you tell me where we're going? Because I really need to research it and check out the menu and know 100% what I'm eating before I get there. Thanks very much. <laughs> but if we go back to the Weight Watchers Weekly from two weeks ago, being assertive, Maybe I just need to be assertive and do just that, right? Anyway, off to work. I will chat with you guys in a bit. Hello guys, here I am, doing what I do best. All day long, every day, walk, walk, walk. I'm actually only going three miles today. And I'm trying to walk a little slow because I forgot to bring an extra shirt. So I don't need to be all stinky when I get back to the office. And that annoys me too because I happen to like this shirt. It's a Disney television animation shirt, which is where I work, the department I work in. And I have to run in it tonight because I didn't bring another shirt to run in either. So it's gonna be all gross. But that's why they make washing machines, right? Yay. Anyway, just walking. I am not doing a very good job at not sweating. Ew. My face everywhere. <laughs> it's a good thing I have body spray at work. I am currently using my favorite body spray ever and the strongest one I have ever run across, which is Victoria's Secret Love Spell. Yep, from back in the day, back in the 90s, I still love it. I keep some in the car, I keep some at work, and just a couple sprays, and nobody knows I walked three miles at lunch. Thankfully, I am on my way back now, and it's so weird, but there is more. There's always a breeze going this direction versus the other direction, so now, hopefully, the breeze will dry my sweat. <laughs> TMI, I know, I'm gross. Guys, we are headed to the airport yet again. I'm leaving. We're not going anywhere. This is so weird, but I can't remember if I even talked about it on my videos, but way back in May, when we flew back from Florida, I left my iPad in the little, um, what is that, like a little carry-on pocket? Front pocket. The front pocket um, of my seat when I was flying, I left my iPad. And funny thing is, it's just not really funny, I didn't even notice it was gone until like two weeks later, and Eddie was like, why don't you go get your iPad for something? I was like, my iPad. And iPad. like for the week, the week that we got back, I was thinking, how come I don't hear Julie's iPad dinging in the other room like normal? So it took me a while to even realize it was gone. Anyway, I left it in the seat pocket on Spirit Airlines in first class. First class. Oh yeah, that was first class. The first part of May, I have contacted Spirit. I emailed them. I got a response. I got several responses and they said if you don't hear back from us after this then nobody found it and nobody turned it in. So we literally were going to go get another iPad probably this week or next week and Eddie got a text message today that said I found your iPad and I turned it in. You can get it by calling this number. <laughs> so weird and so random huh? What was she doing with it for two and a half months? 
I don't know, but I'm glad she turned it in. I hope it's not busted. We are going to the airport to pick it up right now, but there is super major traffic as there always is when you go to the airport like that. We are stopped. It's 8.49. We haven't had dinner. It's gonna be a late night. My I'll show face. you guys my iPad when I get it back. Okay guys, it's here. The keyboard. The iPad. It's all in one piece. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I haven't even tried to turn it on, but um, it looks like they got it charged up just enough to figure it out. I don't know how they figured out who it went to, but I can't believe it. Yay! Now I have to cut the video because there's going to be a lot of curse words in this crazy traffic and you guys don't need to hear it from Mr. Innocent. Okay guys, we just had a super excellent meal at Rubio's. It was our second free birthday meal for the month. Thank you, Rubio's. So I had the grilled salmon salad. It's actually listed as a balsamic roasted vegetable salad. And you get your choice of protein. I believe there is chicken, shrimp, and two kinds of salmon. Blackened salmon, grilled salmon, blackened chicken, grilled chicken and probably steak too. Anyway, so the balsamic, what is it called? Balsamic grilled vegetable salad is seven smart points, including the dressing. However, in the tracker, there is a separate listing for the balsamic vinaigrette, which is four smart points. So if you leave off the dressing, seven minus four is three points for the salad itself. Then you get your protein and the grilled salmon is two smart points. So five smart points for the salad, guys. So good. And I always just get um, like all of the salsas. I get, there's like three or four different salsas. I get all of them, salsa and lemon, and just put it all over my salad. And you don't need dressing. It's so good. It's Mexican salad. <laughs> so the salad itself was five measly smart points. I also, because I feel like my perfect meal is a great combination of vegetables, protein, and a carb, so in order not to leave the restaurant feeling unsatisfied, I also added two corn tortillas, and two corn tortillas is three smart points, so my whole dinner was eight smart points. Next time I'm probably going to get the flour tortillas. Two flour tortillas is four smart points, but I do like them better. I like them both, but I think I like flour better. Um, so I also had two glasses of wine for nine smart points, and that was dinner tonight. So super good, super free, except for the wine. So how was your dinner, Eddie? How was your birthday dinner from Rubio's? It was good. We like Rubio's. Eddie had a steak burrito. Steak burrito with pinto beans, rice, and cheese. And how much steak? Like like the, the tip of my pinky the tip of his pinky what is that guys in Weight Watcher terms that's like I think it's zero points I think it's like a quarter of a teaspoon <laughs> which would be zero smart points it was not very much beef next time I think he's going to try the other burrito with it has just the protein and and cheese so hopefully more protein anyway that was dinner tonight we are headed home I may have one more glass of sangria, but it's super late. It's like 10, 24, and we're how far from home? Like half an hour, maybe. Yeah? Yeah. So about half an hour, and I have to wake up at 5.30, so I will, if I have another glass, it will be one glass of sangria, five smart points, which means I end my day at 29 points. If I don't have the sangria, I end at 24, so. Either way, it's a win. I need to not 
go into the kitchen at crazy hours and I think there's literally like nothing in there, huh? That even would be remotely delicious. I think there's one of those little pie things left. Nope, I ate it last night. And there's some of that cheesecake stuff. Oh, there's, mm, I'm not crazy about that. There are some little like, um, crazy about the there's like some little chocolate donut things in the refrigerator outside, but they're like processed. They're like hostess kind of things. So normally I would say they don't really tempt me. So, um, it's only when I get crazy weird that I eat a whole box of them, but I'm not going to do that tonight. So that's it for me for tonight, guys. I will show you my final smart points for the day before I load the video and post it. And um, hopefully that'll be it for me. So it was a good day. See you guys tomorrow. What the heck are you doing? Are you doing graffiti in your bathroom? Julie's name. I didn't do it. You're gonna get in so much trouble with your mama. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love this. Okay. Go ahead. Do something bad. Do a curse word. If it's just, does it turn, why does it turn clear? Why does it turn clear? Is it going to turn clear or is it going to be hope like that? I it turns clear. Like, I never even see you write cursive. Is that what your cursive looks like? Yeah, why? Look, it's disappearing. You never see me do cursive? I've never seen you write cursive. I didn't know you knew how to write cursive. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Your mom's gonna be so mad at you. Cause she knows that's not my handwriting. Oh yeah, she does. Oh no, she does not know. That's why I put a little happy face. Bye, Julie. Bye, Julie. Bye, Felicia. I mean, bye, Julie. The world is mine! So hot you're melting. <laughs>